Ma'am, Miss Beautiful Lady. Young lady, did you by chance drop this exquisite adornment? I beg your pardon? This scarf. The mark of a woman of style and substance. Did you drop it? Yes, I guess I did. Well then, allow me to return your property. Although a woman of your beauty has no need for such decoration. Ma'am. Hey Nikki, it's Victoria. Sorry it's been a while since I've come to see you, but things have been really crazy at the diner and college and my Trinity misses you though. It's all been really, really hard on all of us, but I love you. Miss Griffin? Miss Griffin? Ricky? What is it? What is it, Thorne? Adair is talking to me. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Adair. It's just... It's perfectly okay, Miss Griffin. I just wanted to let you know that I got the monitor all set up. Everything should be fine. It's fairly automatic. All you need to do is listen for the alarm. I'm gonna let you know if Nikki needs something. Thank you, Adair. You're, you're very kind. Do you think you've got all that, Ricky? I don't know, Thorne. I don't know if I can do this. Don't worry about it too much, Miss Griffin. Honestly, Nikki won't need much, and I'll come by all the time to take care of almost everything. How did that happen, Adair? Don't you remember? It's been a long haul. Yeah, first Stephen Cameron, then Nurse Hickerson. They both had some licensing issues with the MRSA incident. I guess I'm third choice, but I'm here. Did they do something wrong? Nothing. I don't want to speak out of school. <laughs> Then I will. I mean, they can't do anything to me. You know, they had the guts to stand up before that team of doctors who screwed up and gave that terrible infectious disease to Chrissy Robinson. Then they crucified. Simple as that. Well, I don't want to point fingers, Mr. Rose, but yes. And I didn't say that. But, but aren't half the doctors gone because of that? No, just the two of them. Summerfield and Fodera. It was so sad. Dr. Fodera's little sister Shannon, one of my favorite students, and they just pulled her from school. They moved and she went with them. Yeah, God knows what happened to that Summerfield family. What a mess. The whole fan family. The whole fan family! Margo, well, Margo, are you, are you here? <laughs> yes, of course I'm here. Well, hi, Mama. How are you? Oh, you know me. I, I heard you had a new store, so I just had to come have a look. Yep, this is it. You know, after all the funerals and the memorials, I just had my fill of flowers. But now, I don't know, I just want to be happy. So I have filled this place with life and no more death. Oh, you poor thing. Well, of course you did. You need a hug. No, I don't. Huh? This is what the store is about. It's about life. Supporting life. I'm okay. Well, 
then you don't need a hug, but I do. Get yourself a mama hug. <laughs> oh, there, there. Okay, oh, oh, doesn't that feel better? Okay, mama. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I see you walking around with Magnolia, what's her? Magnolia Tree Farmer next over. Magnolia Tree Farmer. You, uh, you probably just call her Magnolia Dover. Um, I see you out and about with Miss Dover, and you have these healthy little power walks, and you go to the bistros and you have fresh salads, and you're just such totally healthy little bunnies. Oh, healthy little... Bunnies, yes. Bunnies. Yes. <laughs> I want to be a bunny. Can you tell me your secret? <laughs> well, that's it. We eat healthy and we go for walks. It's mama. Come on, you can tell me. What's your real secret? Okay, I see. Now this is very important. You can't tell anyone. Heavens no. I'll lock up these lips and throw away the key. Okay, mama. These are light caps. Light caps? Oh! It's a secret. Oh, my bad, my bad. You will never again hear me say, life caps. Now, Mama, huh? it's very important. You will need to start eating healthy and doing some exercise so everyone will be fooled. Okay, I get it, but these are really that great? They are that great. You just take a capsule, you eat healthy, you do some exercise, and they will not be suspicious. Thank you so much, Margo. I think I could cry right here. Let's get you a case. <laughs> Maybe two. Reagan, that's a little fancy for you. It looks interesting. What is it? It's called Nathame. Well, it's, what? Like I said, it's a little advanced for you. I mean, you've got a gift, and I'm willing to work with you in regards to your holistic training, but not religion. Science, nature, philosophy, even magic, but not religion. It's just not my place. But is it magic religion? Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, Magic is the law of nature. Remember what we read? Magic is the ability to cause change in the occurrence of will. It's just disregarded by an enlightened scientist. Oh, hi, Sloan. How's hey, business? Hey, I can't complain. I haven't been called a devil in about a week. Oh. <laughs> is it with these morons, huh? Hey, it's just a couple of them. Hey, how's snow frills going for you? Oh, can't complain myself. You know, it's nice to provide a a fun, positive place for the kids to hang out. Oh, I know that. Reagan here seems to be the only one that's shown any interest in this place. Of course, she's probably the only one with a gift. Hmm, good for you, Reagan. You know, I just hope people don't misunderstand. That's kind of why we're keeping this on the down low. Real low. Now, I need to get something to clean my house with. The energy. It is not feeling very good in there. What do you recommend? I was thinking um, lavender or... Well, let me do this. I just got a shipment of sage in and oh. some black salt. What we can do is we can just do you a, a whole kit and I'll just send you home with it. Perfect. Sage and okay. black salt. Got it. I don't know what you're hoping for, Mr. Sorrento. She's belligerent as they come. She's at the top of my list of prisoners I would love to see strung up. She certainly is unpleasant, but for better or for worse, she's my granddaughter and family's family. You're a good man, Alessandro. No, I'm just a grandfather. Then you're a good grandfather. I'll leave you two alone now. You just don't give up, do you? Is that what you want me to leave you alone? It would be so much easier for both of us if you did. Is that what you're trying to do? Be so nasty? 
that I'll leave you alone. Is that what you think? You said it, not me. You think I'm just trying to protect you from all of my pain and suffering? You think this is my way of being a loving granddaughter or something? Let me tell you something, grandfather. I hate you. I hate that whore you call your wife. I hate that bastard piece of shit you call my father. I hate every one of you Sorrentos with every single beat of my heart. Is that so? Oh, that is so. Vedetta is my only family, not you. My so-called father got what he deserved. And if they ever let me out of here, I will make sure the rest of you Sorrentos get what you deserve too. That's it? Give me the key to this gate and I will prove it to you.